a little dark. It's almost showtime! I think I've completely lost it, but that's okay. Because I know food and I know real estate and I'm a good dad and I'm a good husband and I'm a good son-in-law. What else can there be, right? 1129, it's 1129. Oh, the Paris, New York is renting apartments on 90, on West End between 96 and 97. Thanks for that email, guys. Thanks for that email. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing great. Finally, it's not raining in New York City. The streets are clean. The garbage men are out. The street sweepers are sweeping the street. And I gotta tell you, and they're emptying the garbage cans, the public garbage cans. I know all of those sound like little things. It makes a huge difference in New York City, especially when it's hot. But today is nice and, you know, it's pretty reasonable. It's in the low 70s um, and just a stunning, stunning day. We're really um, happy. So is it 11.30 now? It's 11.30. It's showtime. Um, so we are at 136 West 92nd Street. It's a townhouse. It's a duplex with four bedrooms, two baths. Everything's been redone. Um, you also have a basement about 900 square feet that you can do whatever you want. And there's a washer dryer down there. We are offering it for $10,995,000. Wait, let's start again. $10,995 per month, but we're giving you one free month. So the net effective rate is $10,149. That's a great price for this size square footage. The outdoor space is unbelievable. I'm gonna show you that. And um, there's no fee. And if a broker, if you come with a broker, there's no fee. The landlord is paying the fee. So, there you have it. So I'm gonna do a recipe first, and I'm gonna bring you around the apartment. So, this is a pineapple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure that my knife is nice and sharp. I'm on a 45 degree angle, and you can do it both ways. It's a stainless steel, um, Wustoff French knife, which is really good. All right, so the one thing you gotta remember is that pineapple, the outside is a little prickly, so maybe you wanna use a towel, and you're just gonna cut off the top, and you're gonna cut off the bottom, and you're gonna turn it like this, okay? Now I'm gonna take this and throw it in the garbage. Now, the next thing what I'm gonna do is just peel it like it's a, like it's an apple. So I'm gonna just cut it like this. Pretty easy, right? So now what I have is a nice peeled pineapple. I'm going to wipe my knife to make sure that there's no stuff around it. And I'm going to clean my cutting board a little bit. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the pineapple in half like this. And now I have two flat pieces like that, okay? Let me show you that, how it looks. Okay, so two perfectly cut pieces of pineapple in half. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut those in quarters again, like that, okay? Now, very, very easy is you take the pineapple like this and we're just gonna cut the heart out, which is not edible. Some people eat it, but I don't want to eat it. And then you have a nice piece of pineapple like that. 
And then I'm going to just cut chunks out of this. Nice big chunks. Now, this dish is super simple. And I'm going to explain to you why it's super simple. So, when I worked at Rain Restaurant, um, which opened in 1995, I remember I went to Asia for three weeks prior to opening. I knew very little about Asian food. And there were so many different things that, in Thailand that I tried, but one of the things that I had was green mango. Now, green mango has nothing to do with ripe mango. Green mango tastes like a Granny Smith apple. So you get the green mango, you slice it, and then what they do is they serve it with a mixture. Now remember, this is, it's a little bit different in Thailand, but what this is is a mixture of salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, sugar, and dried red chilies crushed. And I just mix them. So the other thing is we have a nice piece of lime. I'm just going to cut some nice chunks of the lime and just put that around the bowl. And then the last thing that you want is some of your people that you're going to be serving your guests with, they're going to be drinking tequila with ice and lime, or they're going to be drinking ice cold beers, and they may want something hot. So this is a spicy pepper, it's called sambal olek, and it is ground fresh, fresh chili paste. You can pretty much get it at any store. Um, and those three things you can dip in. So basically, you're just going to take a chunk of the, the pineapple, and then you can squeeze a little bit of fresh lime juice on it, put it, coat it with those chilies, and now let's see how it tastes. Oh my God. Go. So, think about it. Thai food is based on four types of, of flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, spicy. We have the sweet pineapple. We have the salty, sweet, and spicy chilies, and we have the acid of the lime. So it's really, really simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this now in the sambal lek, just to see how that tastes. Oh my God. So, so good. So remember, predominantly salt, a little bit of sugar, and, cr and crushed red peppers. That can be your dish to dip the, the sweet pineapple in. You can also use green mango. You can also do Granny Smith apples. Any crispy, nice vegetable uh, piece of fruit is fantastic with it. And then the sambal lek is great, especially for people that like spicy food. All right. So I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this beautiful apartment. And that's me. And I'm going to flip everything. So there's all my chargers because it's crazy. Um, but we have a brand new nice kitchen. Just showing you the, the pineapple again. And the chili sauce or the chili um, uh, spices. And then the sambal lek. Um, it's so good. I'm going to eat all of it when I leave. All right. So this is... The living dining space, really, really big. There is one bedroom down here in the back of the apartment, which is really cool with a nice closet. The outdoor space, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <coughs> it's all yours if the price is right. It's really, really nice. The apartment has central air conditioning. So there's, on the, on the main level, <coughs> Excuse me, that's spicy fruit. We have a um, big closet here for your coats. This, this door goes downstairs to about 900 square feet of basement space with a washer dryer. Completely renovated bathroom. Just want to show you my tie. It's blue. I also have blue seersuckers on. You know, when I was a kid, I used to call them Sears suckers, which is a little ridiculous. Um, because I didn't know any better. Second bedroom, closet. Now we're going to go upstairs. So upstairs, you have another entranceway to the building. So there's two entrances to the building, one on the first floor and one on the second floor. Here is your massive master bedroom with two huge closets. Goes, there's a view out to your private terrace or deck. Um, decorative fireplace. 
a great office to work from at home. So you can have the kids downstairs. You can have your master suite up here. Second, bed, uh, second bathroom is here, completely finished. And then another entranceway to the front of the building, if you want to come in that way. And your fourth bedroom here. Yeah, the floors are sick. Um, if you look at these, the way these nails are done, they don't do that like that anymore. I mean, they just, it's just, it's unbelievable. And then across the street, you have really unobstructed views. You just have a big school over there. Um, but it's, it's a huge apartment. So if you got anybody that's interested or you're interested in seeing it, please call me at 917-860-1462. Again, 917-860-1462. I'd be happy to show it to you. It's truly a great apartment. The landlord is awesome. Um, and the managing agent, Synoptic Management, if you have something wrong with the apartment, they take care of it really, really quickly. So have a great day, everybody. And um, thanks for watching.